Starting the YouTube video. <clears throat> Bro, it's and really hot. I'm done with this whole wedding thing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're already sweating. I'm like, all right, all right. Look, a bald connection. If you don't want to be glossy, you, you bring your you bring your yeah. hood hey. forward, and then you get the shade. There all right, cool. Some pointers. <laughs> yeah, some pointers. <laughs> some like some bald ball with my mic. <laughs> what up? <laughs> <laughs> Going heads up with the mic. <laughs> <laughs> For everyone that's watching, I highly suggest you guys to just stop watching. <laughs> this is, this is, you, there's so many better things you could be doing right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going live for the podcast. Y'all ready? Let's do, Let's, it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going live in three, two, one. Welcome to another episode of Business Bros. <laughs> Woo! We've got a great show for you guys today. I mean, Fantastic. back to back. Fantastic. We just finished with Jesse Wright, and now we got two of real estate's titans on the show, Mr. Zabi and Jose. What up, boys? What's going on, fellas? What up, what up? What's going on? <coughs> What's new and exciting in the world of pro- uh, creative, creative House Productions? Creative House Productions. I was about to say productive, creative. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you that's can tell us towards the end of the day. That's the worst. <laughs> creative Dude. House Design. Look, look, and Zobby, visionary Zobby, media corp. Zobby's scaring me. He's got his fingers like he's ready to go. He's ready <laughs> to rock and roll. I said I'm gonna drop some bombs. I'm doing it right now. Uh-oh, Jose, Jose, your camera's I actually not off right now. Am I good? Uh, it got all quiet all of a sudden. Yeah, I know. All of a sudden, just go ahead and drop out of the <laughs> out of the app and then start it up again. It'll it'll kick in. Yeah. So in the meantime, oh god, I was seriously just kidding. I'm like on the spot now. Right now, put the hoodie back on. <laughs> All right, so for those of you uh, who didn't uh, catch the first time we <laughs> talked to Zabi, that was way back in November. He was one of the first people. I mean, we had a couple other people on the show, but he was one of the first people that when my eight-year-old son decided to uh, give me the greatest marketing advice for our podcast, he said, Dad, if you want people to listen to your show, you need to get influencers on there. And so we did. We went out. We met uh, We met a couple people at a big block opening event, one of which was Jose and Zabi, even though Jose was holding the camera, <laughs> right? And as, uh, usual. as usual, and then we uh, met the Zabi man behind the camera. He is magic. He oh, dude, magic. Oh, epic stuff he that he puts. All the magic happen. Yeah, because <laughs> if you meet Zabi in real life, he's gr- he's he's. I mean, he's a good looking guy, but Jose makes him look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna say, right? <laughs> Hey, Got true, story, true story. <laughs> I was literally looking at myself in the mirror today, and I'm like, if half these people knew what I look like without the editing. <laughs> <laughs> Photoshop magic. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. I'm still good looking. All right. So, <laughs> confidence level. Really low. Can you see? All right. No, I mean, and then, you know, back in November, Zabi dropped the, you know, his story, where he came from, where, yeah. you know, where things were going on. It was amazing. It was very heartfelt. I got chills. Yeah. We had some tears that day. Everything was going in a different direction, uh, in an upward direction, by the way. And now we're here four months later. Dude, so much has happened in four months. <laughs> right? Yeah. Tell me about it. I mean, you went from Creative House Design to Creative House Productions, and there's stuff in between. I mean, there's there's relationships that happen yeah. things that you've been building yeah. businesses that have been growing pricing has been changing I mean, <laughs> everything right value's well, been adding value's for what it's been, worth he did warn us about thing, us yeah. in episode in the first episode yeah he did he did he did actually <laughs> actually well that's that that's, that's kind of the whole purpose how creator house production that's how creator, yeah. yeah actually so i'm really a nice guy a lot of people don't like me but I opened a new company so I can keep my prices the same for you guys. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, tell um, me, tell me about what's going on, dude. What what's changed? What's dude. been? What's I mean, if you haven't been following along on social media, then I mean, if you have, you know, kind of a good idea what's going on. But there's always behind the scenes, right? There's always stuff that goes on behind the works. We get to see the tip of the iceberg, which is cool. What when right. Tim Tim brought you that uh, dude, that, that was painting, so dumb. right? That's that was that's so exactly dumb. what's going on, right? Yeah. Everybody sees the tip of the iceberg, but so what's I, going on under? I like like, I mean, I made sure you didn't see that on camera. I legit, <laughs> that was really creepy. You did. I wish you guys could just see what he just did right now. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm talking away from the mic, and so I he's, give him the finger like get he's closer, literally baby. directly, <laughs> he's directly in front of me. Like if I look this way, me and him are making love with each other's <laughs> eyes. And so I, I'm sitting back, and he just does one of these. Come here, baby. I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> yes, master. <laughs> All right, guys. So um, a lot has changed. Listen, uh, it's four months. I mean, 
just in general, if you haven't changed in four months, then you're living under a rock. Like you need to do things in four months, a lot of time. So we've obviously taken time. Uh, we've taken a lot of advantage of that time. And, um, you know, four months ago uh, was was actually a very in, in my personal life and uh, in my business life, because, well, I don't really have a balance. Like my business life is my personal life. You yeah. mean you don't have an off switch? Why am I so high? <laughs> Can you look at my face? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Just, try, just trying to make sure the camera's right, that's all. All right, cool. I'm like, dude, all you see is my nostril. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, so? <laughs> Anyways, just you trying know. Trying to fix it, man. Just trying to fix it. A lot has happened, you know what I mean? Um, uh, dude, it's so hot in here. I just want to get naked. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Actually, sun's down. You can open that window here. So um, so anyways, guys, as I was saying, yeah, a lot's happened. Uh, it, I, you know, I treat my business life like, you know, my, my personal oh, life is my business nice. life. That's a beautiful view. Um sorry i'm getting my adds kicking in <laughs> um and so anyways as i was saying uh through that course of that time um about a couple of weeks prior to our first podcast about four months ago i had met jose i want to say almost three or four weeks max i think I, it was two about two, two weeks. weeks literally like about two weeks max i had met jose like i've known of his existence on social media, but I never physically met him. And we had literally met almost about two weeks prior to the first time that I ever met Hernan and James um, to go onto their podcast. And it's just, it's been a wild- Fortuitous, almost. Yeah, it's been a wild roller coaster of a ride. Uh, I can tell you this much that it's been a very, um, it's been a ride that I don't want to get off. That's for damn sure. <laughs> too much fun, um, I'm just having fun, you know, I'm having fun. And I think where all the haters are coming from is because they're just mad that they're not on that ride and I don't blame you because it's a fun ride and I don't want to get off of it so we're going to continue staying on the ride and um but we'll definitely share the views of uh what we're experiencing with the world and try to give as much value as we can in the process that's really what it's about right yeah. it's, it's always about bringing value absolutely and and it, it'd be honest as, as you reach levels of success you are going to have people who are who are a little upset right. but by the same token the objective here is to bring people with you Right, is to add 100%. value and bring people along for the That's ride. That's literally, man, it's so dope. Like ever since me and Jose got connected, um, it, it, here's the thing. So I told Jose this. I had this conversation with Jose back uh, before Creative House. Uh, productions ever even launched like before there was even idea for creative house productions me and jose and at the time um our two close very close personal friends gay mendez and Keton del rosario we were together collectively and we still may do it in the future we're thinking about putting together a a company that was um essentially a just like a whole around it's a powerhouse powerhouse marketing company that's going to be literally like the whole concept of the company is creating a better me right so in the process of doing so, Jose was literally the 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 the, the vessel of allowing this ship to move. He was essentially the gasoline to the He's car. The eyes, dude. No, no, the, the, he, the is, eyes, yeah. he is. He is. He is. And I told Jose, I said, everyone is playing a very essential role into creating this. Um, however, you, Jose, have the most important role because you have to create the content for us to put out for the world to see. Right. But you also have a business, right. so you have to take time away from that business to help create the content for me and and Gabe and Katon. And by the way, if you guys are all watching, uh, yes, Jose's, you know, my content creator. Uh, he's the man behind all the magic that you guys see, uh, you know, so I've, I take no credit. It's all Jose. Uh, so, you know, Jose has to do all that. And so by him doing that, that takes time away from money that he could be prof, you know, making for his company, right. Visionary, uh, which takes away from food on the table for his family, you know, the sacrifices that he's making. So um, I told Jose, I said, listen, I have a staging company with all my, you know, stagings. I provide photos and videos uh, with all my properties. Um, you know, I'll go ahead and have you just come in and just do a couple in the meantime so I can just kick you down some money. Um, this way, since you're going to be helping with this other company that we're doing, at least I know that from my business, because that's what real friends do, that's what real friends do, from my business, I can at least help pay you for my business because you're sacrificing your time, but if I know that I can help you make money through my business and it's not gonna take away from what you're already doing, then let's do it. Right, it's real gonna homies, be mutually beneficial. Real homies take care of real homies. Absolutely. Right, so that's what, that's what happened. That's how it, how it got, that's how it all started. So everything that you're seeing right now was all by, really by accident. Like it was yeah. never meant to happen this way. And 
but that's the difference. You know, that's the difference. That's why I said in four months, if you have, if you're in the same place in four months, man, you need to go get checked out. Like you need to do something because if we were able to do what we've done in four months, um, and and I mean we haven't even officially launched. And what we're, we're already, it's it's already been successful. <laughs> yeah, it's already it's working. Crazy. It's working. Well, you got a lot of eyes on you, right? And, <laughs> yeah. and it, it it really stems from a lot of the a lot of the work you put in prior to even meeting, oh, right? 100%. It's, it's the networking, it's the connections, 100%. it's it's making sure that you're providing people with that value. And then when you d- do decide to take it to a new level, people are watching, and if they like yeah. it, if they if they see the value in it. They pay more attention. You, you can always sense, like, you can always sense genuineness, right? Like, yeah. you'll know in the end of the day if someone's being genuine or if someone's a piece of shit. And if they're a piece of shit and yet they're putting on that act of being genuine, sooner than later, it's going to go. It's going to come out. Sooner than later, it's going to come out. Look, man, I've been, I've been on a high one for the last 12, 13, 14 months. Uh, and, I, you know, I was telling Jose right outside, um, if... I'm not being talked about, then I'm not important enough. I, if I'm not being talked about, then I'm not important enough or I'm not doing anything of importance enough to be talked about. Right. Your your brand exists only if, like, uh, I heard Mike Quay was talking about this on his pop-up podcast, right? right? And I said this a couple times already. If you could be a fly on the wall of two people having a conversation and the term real estate or the term something comes up and your name doesn't come up, right. Then you you haven't established your you're brand correctly. Wrong. You're, you're, doing, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah. You haven't you haven't done it right yet. It's not that you haven't done it. It's just you haven't done it to that standard. Yeah, right. and right? I think and, I think a lot of the confusion that happened was uh, when people think that visionary converted into Creative House Productions. No, no. And that's not at all the case. Like we decided to build Creative House Productions because Zabi still wanted to maintain the same value that he was delivering to his clients. Visionary, visionary team just happens to be the one fulfilling that right that mm-hmm. spot, and it's okay right? to, to, to give it more to context and i'm really glad you brought that up um for every realist for every single real estate agent watching uh a lot of you that a lot of you are actual personal friends and a lot of you are so cool because you've literally told me zabi are you out of your mind like you need to raise your prices but the whole reason why we got to the position that we've gotten to is because we've created value it's all about giving 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 i'm playing the long game if i really was about a profit believe me my bank account would be a lot heavier than it is today but i'll also be out of business a lot sooner Right. As well. Yeah. Right. So my whole idea is, look, I'm playing the long game. I want to be in business forever, not for a short period of time. Mm-hmm. And I want to make sure that whenever I walk away or whenever I sell this or I want to make sure and I'm not in the same room with you that my name is spoken highly of. I want to make sure that people are like, you know what? That guy, Zabi, man, he fucking delivers. That guy, Zabi, is the real deal. He really he, he puts his money where his mouth is. And that's the name. That's 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 what I work. That's what I strive for. So. Because you do Me, got a mouth on you, but my, your work right, my work, yeah, my backs, work backs it up. It up. Right, the backs work it backs up. it up. And so the price needed to increase from twenty five hundred. You've seen my warehouse. Like I, I have a fucking department store in there. You've seen my warehouse it's but, packed. But at the same time, I know that what had gotten us to this place was bring, bringing so much value. And I was having a really hard time. It was about a month prior to the end of December of two thousand eighteen. Me and my partner sat down and we're like, all right. We need to raise the prices at January 1st. And I agreed to him because that was what we agreed on prior to the year before. Excuse me. And I, I said, okay, fine, we're going to do it. It's crazy how the universe works. And Jose literally came out of nowhere. And it was hard, man. I, I didn't want, even up until like the 28th of December, my partner's like, all right, I don't see any like any any you marketing, make any, changes. any marketing yeah. content, like what's going on. I'm like, we're gonna do it. Like, don't trip, we're gonna do it. I'm just I'm just I'm waiting it out, I'm waiting it out. And then I even went as far as telling some of my very close clients that like I've just grown to be friend. I'm like, hey guys, I got you guys, don't worry. But I'm gonna increase prices, but for you all still, since you guys were, you know, one of my very first clients, I'll keep the yeah. same with you guys. Like grandfather, nice you guys little, yeah, grandfather, you know, yeah. grandfather you it's in. a little loyalty thing. It's right? a loyalty, exactly. You give me so much loyalty, I'm gonna give it to you in return. I just still didn't feel comfortable, man. I couldn't sleep at night. So 
that's how Creative House Production started. Because at the time, I was outsourcing all of the photos. I was outsourcing all of the videos. So there was a chunk of that amount that was being paid to outsource that. And I couldn't sustain or maintain myself anymore. Right. I couldn't. I literally pay myself pennies on the dollar. And I pay myself a salary to keep the business afloat. So I literally, like, I, I'm, 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 I'm an employee to my own business, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to keep this afloat. And so that's how Creative House Production started because... I did not want to increase the prices. I wanted to keep the prices the same. So instead, you adjusted the profit margin. Well, actually, not only that, but the quality just went up 10 times better too. So not only have I kept the prices the same, but we've increased the quality as well, which is just another value add. Dude. And next year, we're going to do something else that's going to bring even more value. And that's the thing, Jose, man. I'm telling you, I mean, I, I was kind of joking around making Zabi look like a rock star, but you make every single property that you go <laughs> out there. I mean, it's Hollywood status, right? The, the that. home, Whoa, the you, homes look... You guys have I, no idea the <laughs> video that we're going to drop next week, baby. Right? The homes that you, you put out there, dude, I mean, they're just... They're, they're on a HGTV has a hard time competing with the way you put videos out. Dude. I mean, I'm telling you, it's, I'm, it, when I look at them, I'm like, Jesus. And I'm thinking, there's no way I can afford this $4 million home. It might not be that expensive, but it looks like it when you're watching it on video, right? You know, I think one of the things that we set out to do, obviously, when uh, Zabi and I were having the initial conversations was that video, I don't like calling ourselves a videography team because we don't consider the business as videographers. You get what I mean? Yeah. Like the way that we do it is like if this content is not going to be placed on social media, we're creating content that's going to be for social media. It's yes. it just happens to be that the subject is a house. So yes. how are we going to sexy up that house so that we can separate ourselves from everybody else? Because when everybody comes in, they try to duplicate what's already been established right. or an agent calls you and tells you, hey, I want to get a video and this is how I want it. What we prioritize is like, okay, this is what you want, but this is what we're going to deliver. And this and this is why. Because we always try to make people see the full video, not just the initial first five seconds. Right. That's, yeah. that's our whole... It's, it's more like uh, you are you have a listing, right? And yes, you want to get the home sold. Yeah. But don't you want more listings? Don't you want more yeah. business? Don't you, want, uh, don't you want to look like, look, I'm the agent that provides this. This Correct. is why you want to be with yeah. me, this agent, because I have this kind of team. Yeah. Right. This is this is the quality that I put out, and and I think that's where the biggest difference is. Yeah, right. you're selling the home, sure, but you're also selling the agent. Yeah. Right. And that's what they come to you for. They they come to you for a full service deal. Well, well, we're we're definitely you know I can speak for the both of us. We're definitely unorthodox. You know what I'm saying? Um, what happens is that. Uh, a lot, if not the majority of everyone, has a system to where this is a p template of what it's going to look like. This is the beginning, this is the middle, this is the outro. That's it. And everything looks the same. The difference is that my business partner owns another company called Visionary Media. I work with a person who's a visionary, mm. right? Not so a video I'm guy. A visionary. Right. So when I tell you that we are literally studying every day. You know, we're creating and duplicating what catches our attention. Look, you're hiring me to stage your property, do your videos, all that great stuff. Obviously, this is my man right here. This is my partner. This is the vision that's bringing into the table. But if you're hiring me to do this for you because you like my vision, well, guess what? I need to keep my vision up to par at all times. So I'm looking at further ahead than yeah. you're look, you're looking at me but i'm looking further ahead Correct. so i can bring that back you don't want to be stale you. right exactly yeah you don't want to get stale exactly that's what happens because what's cool yeah. today is not cool it's not going to be no. cool tomorrow and that's right. the problem that's the problem is that, that well it's actually not a problem it's great for us because well people get comfortable and that's awesome for us but we're never going to get comfortable yeah mm -hmm. we'll never get comfortable because I never want to be the same position. If you, we have an interview four months from today and I'm in the same position, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> like we, were, we were just having this conversation yesterday. We did this video that's going to come out next week. And just looking at that and looking back at a video that we did a couple of days prior to that one, it's like, what were we thinking? You know what it's I mean? Like day. Every single day we're always trying to like level up. Always. Adrian and I are always on you know, the drawing board. We're always, you know... Uh, we lay out something and then we're like, hey, you know what? Like, let's switch it up. Like, we take our time to 
not just because we want the same product to be delivered, but because we always want to make it better. By the way, major shout out to Adrian if hey, you're hey, watching, bro. Hey, Mr. straight Fugatti? up, major yeah, major shout boy. out to Fugatti to Adrian if you're watching. If you guys don't know who Adrian is, Adrian's the secret sauce behind a lot of this artwork yeah. that's being produced. Yes, you know you see Jose's face, you see my face, but the one face you don't see that's literally the the magic sauce within the sauce is Adrian. Yeah, so if you're watching, bro, big major shout out to you. This wouldn't be possible without you. Hey, love you, bro. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, and, and you know what it is, is the reason you're successful is because you're making your work famous, right? Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, mm -hmm. you put out videos. I like your vlog it's stuff. Those are awesome. Those are definitely cool. Uh, Keaton put some videos like that too. Everybody do, puts yeah. those. But what's making you famous is what's when you're not in the picture. Yeah. It's your work. It's your yeah. quality of the stuff that you put out. I like yeah, that. I think right? the work speaks for itself. The yeah. work is speaking for itself. You know, we had, a, we had a full circle moment the other day. Um, we had an agent tell us like, hey man, like, you know what, like, you did the video for this, 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 and this person, right? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay. Like, I knew that was you, but like, you'll, you won't ever see any logos on my personal stuff, but people still know that it's us. Yeah, it because you have a signature, right? Yeah. It's not it's not a physical, like, pen signature, Correct. but there's a quality to what you do. <laughs> yeah. And that, that vision is what everybody sees. And they yeah. know, oh, oh, that's a Jose video. I respect the hell out of that. <clears throat> when you have so much confidence in your product that you don't need to slap it with a sticker, that tells me that you're you're playing the long game. Yeah. Because whenever you're sticking it in everyone's face, it's a different story, mm -hmm. right? You want to be noticed. But whenever you're letting your work speak for itself it's without different. sticking it in their yeah. face, yeah. that's a whole different, an that's the animal you need to be afraid of. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for sure. I like that. It's that the animal solid. you need to be afraid of. Yeah. You know, and a lot of... Uh, <clears throat> I've actually started putting myself out there a little bit more just because I, people who know me personally, they know me and they know that it's me, but nobody knew my face yeah. in a sense. Like people knew my I work. <laughs> people knew my face, but they didn't know. I mean, people that knew my work, but they didn't know the face. So they kind of put two and two together. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, obviously it's, it's relevancy, right? You know, it's people have to see you. People have to know who you are. Obviously when they know me in person, they know that I'm the sex in person, but my goal for this year was to get my face to be more of a Recognized. household. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. uh, we already put in the work, we grinded it out, we made sure that everything was taken care of on the back end, so that now that I'm in the front, everything is still being taken care of in the back. So, super excited about that, dude. We're looking forward to more stuff that's going to be coming out here soon. Hey, so tell me about this event that's coming up. You got something pretty big planned, right? Marketing mastery. Summit 2019. So let, let's just put it this way. Look, every real estate agent out there wants a couple things that's hot right now, right? Something, social media, hot. Yeah. Video, hot. Mm -hmm. Getting your ad out there, your promo, promoting the, the listing, hot. How the hell do you do it? It's yeah. about Eminem. So that's going to be the entire entire summit. It's going to be about Eminem, which like is... Slim Shady Eminem? Um, or? I mean, no, not <laughs> quite. <laughs> not that Eminem. Can't throw that one out there. <laughs> um, but the Eminem it's going to be about is mindset and marketing. So, Oh, um, I like it. Here's the deal. I'm a firm believer, hence why Creative House Productions is created. I'm a firm believer... That if you want something to be done right, you need to do it yourself. Yes, mm. I'm a firm. Call it what you want to call it. I, I, I right. everyone has their is you know entitled to their own opinion, but me, my opinion will, is and will stay that way. If you want something done right, you need to do it yourself. Okay. Well, here, here's the other thing. I mean, if you're ever gonna teach somebody something. I mean, if you're ever gonna learn some something really well, you have to teach it to somebody. You'll know whether you know it or not. If you go and try to teach it to somebody and, and you start to fumble. Well, here's true. Here's it, it plays a for a, it, the context plays a different role in different scenarios. Yeah. OK, so let me give you this scenario and paint the picture for you. Cool. Mm -hmm. I've paid a lot of money to go to a lot of different events, much of which I gained a lot of great information from, but almost like clockwork, ninety nine point nine 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 nine. Fuck it. Let's say it for what it is. 100% of them, I get bored. At some point in the event, I get bored. It becomes a redundant. It becomes boring. It becomes like you lose me. And I'm someone who has ADD. So if you're able to catch my attention, then for sure you can catch anyone else's attention. 
right? Yeah. So, I, you know, that's just keeping it real. It's, no, it's true, right? So if There's I, a birdie. Oop, there it goes. Exactly. So if you're able to catch my attention, then you'll be able to catch anybody's attention. That's just... I And I'm playing it... I'm, I'm, I'm essentially this event that I'm putting together is going to be an event catered to me. Call me crazy, but that's the <laughs> idea here. No, but I'm serious. That's the idea here. I'm creating an event that I like the perfect event that I wanted to go to. You're exactly the type of person at Christmas when you play white elephant. I would love to play white elephant with you because you're going to buy a present that you love. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and it's going to be badass. Guy. And then, you know, everybody's going to want to steal that present. But it's the same. Invite me to your concept, house right? for Christmas. Right? <laughs> you better cook good, though. So. But that's, that's how it is. Right. I mean, you're Doing trying so to much. if it's you so know true. exactly whoops if you know exactly what kind of content you would find interesting that, right. that you know yeah. is going to take your business to the next level right that's the product that you want to put out yeah. so i was um you know call for what you want to call it i was with denzel washington you know oh not, dude i want to hear that story so i'll tell you about that story but the fact of the matter is is that this was outside of a of a of a gas station like you want to you don't want to be seen right yeah. you don't be mob rushed you don't be seen and so to be able to not just get this guy's attention but to talk to him for like 15 minutes and then him hand off something to me that all comes from preparation from so many things prior to allow me to be comfortable in that state to be comfortable in that situation to be able to talk to someone who's here in life and I'm here in life and be able to be here at that moment in life, right? So that comes from mindset. That comes from mindset, right? That, like, when, when, when people, when, when, I hear, when I hear the noise in the background of certain people saying certain things and whatnot, I laugh to myself because I'm like, little do they know. Little do they know. I would be the best thing to happen to them. Call it what you want to call it. Little do they know. It's a mindset. You got to also remember, I mean, Gary Vee talks about that, right? If somebody's if somebody's going to say something negative to you, you got to remember where they're coming from in their life, right? Because they True. might have something going on in their life. And the fact is, you are making an impact. Whether or not, you know, they're, they're going to be uh, saying positive or negative things, you're making an impact in their life it, to the point where you are worth commenting. Cre creating, creating a shift. Right. So this event that we're going to be putting together, it's going to be about mindset and marketing. So the first portion of it, well, it's going to be all created together, but the first essential portion of it is, so for, first and foremost is for people that are either A, entrepreneurs, or well, for the most part, all entrepreneurs, yeah. actually. Um, but it's real estate driven, um, service oriented. So the, the the focal point is real estate, whether it's real estate agents, escrow, um, whether it's a cleaning company, whether it's a termite company, whether it's a staging company, what, whatever it is, it's a service-based event for the real estate industry, but also tailored for real estate agents, right? Mm -hmm. So... I know that knowing what I know now, putting this event together, if I put this event together for myself, you know, by my fifth, my 18 year old self, before hmm. I knew anything, I knew that this would be the event that would change my life. I knew that this would be the event that I'd walk out with so much gold. You're like, I'm doing this. I'm doing this, right? Exactly. So it's going to be about mindset. I'm putting together some of the best people that I know in my inner circle, some of the best people that I look up to, some of the best people that I follow. Um, I'm putting that. I'm putting them all together in one room. And with marketing, I'm putting some of the best people some of the biggest influencers some of the biggest mover and shakers in the industry and the whole the best thing about this entire event is that it's all going to be people that are one way or the other in southern california so it's people that are actually here in our backyard actually doing shit and i can tell you right now one of the keynote speakers will be sam karamian from big block realty and sam's always got great stuff to say man anytime yeah. i mean he's doing the whole 365 out of 365 right. dude so every time he hops that's on, dope that's, that's no that's, i love it i love it so when you come to get him on a stage totally worth that time so yeah. this event's gonna be put together with Gabe Mendez and myself um, Gabe as you know is a mover and shaker in the marketing world as far as real estate's involved I mean he's the only guy I know that has two viral videos with over a million plus views organically in San Diego um, that's a real estate agent uh, you have me who you know was in prison 15 months ago and has you know rightfully, rightfully so yeah. you know has a respected you know loved appreciated and large company that 
that literally came out of nothing. It came out of a, a, the back of a garage, you know, to where it's at now. And I can't, I, I can honestly, I've obviously hard work, dedication, effort, consistency, all the, you know, common factors apply. But the main factor that allowed me to get to this place was me being able to share my story on a daily basis on social media, right. which has allowed me to be behind this mic right now speaking with you, which is probably going to influence somebody that's going to probably need it for whatever they're going through today. Right. So that's the idea of this event. And to make it even sweeter, um, I'm going to be giving out a full money back guarantee with this event. So if you walk out of this event and you did not get times 10 the value of your money, because this is not a cost, I want them to understand this is an investment. Right. If you did not get times 10 of your investment out of this event, full money back guarantee, I'm backing it up. I'm giving everyone that whoever wants their money back, no questions, no obligations. You tell me, hey, Zabi, I wasn't happy with this. I, I feel like, you know, I, I didn't learn much. I feel like it wasn't worth my investment. No questions asked, full money back guarantee. And if you know me, you know I'm all about my reputation. And the last thing I'm trying to do is ruin it. I guarantee you everyone will get their Wait, full money back guarantee. Zabi, Zabi's about his reputation? Believe it or not, you know, any client that's ever worked with me will tell you that if they have a problem with anything, I will back it up. I will get it done. Trust me when I tell you now, I'm all about the reputation. We don't have a date yet, but we have a general idea when? General idea is going to be about a month and a half to two months. I could do it sooner. I don't want to rush this. I want to do it soon because I want to make right. sure. I want to do it soon before we get into summer. Because I want to make sure that knowing that summer's the hot time, the you know mm -hmm. hot time of the year, I wanted my my goal is to do it at the latest uh, at the end of April. That's the absolute latest that I want to do it at the absolute latest. So it's still you're still in the begin, you know, it's like the beginning of quarter two, right at the end of quarter one. It's still early, um, super early, so you can still go into the rest of the year and finish strong yeah. and and apply those teachings. I mean, look, four months ago I was with you. Four months later, look where we're at. That you're gonna have eight months. If I do it at the end of April, you'll still have eight months to close out the year strong. You can get a lot of shit done in eight months. I grew a business from zero to what I did in 12 months. So you can do it in eight months. Anybody can. Anybody can. You just need the know-how. Absolutely. You just need the backup. And that's what it's gonna be. That's what that event's about. I, I, dude, I'm I'm excited. It, it, I'm, I'm everything, gonna... everything that I learned in one year, I'm gonna have the best of the best of the best. And you're going to learn it directly in one day. You're going to have notes. And I will make sure that the entire event as well, I'll make sure the entire event is recorded. So you will have that at the end of the event for everyone that attended. You'll have the recordings of everything and all the slides that it was as well available for the event. See, I mean, that's that's worth it. If it's, people pay huge tuitions to go to college, huge tuitions to get some degrees that they probably don't even use. Yeah. These are the types of things that you need to just invest in yourself, learn what it is you need to learn. But most of all, guys, most of all, you got to apply it. I mean, ain't no nobody's going to make a change in your life if you don't actually go out there and do it. Right. You, you have skills. You guys have been doing a lot of things. But the key to that is you've been doing a lot of things because yeah. I mean, you could talk, man. <clears throat> you got the gift of gab. You, no, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you got the gift of gab. You Liar. could be out there. Nobody's Liar. ever accused you of right? that. Now you you could be out there looking I'm, fabulous I'm and, podcast, and guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the Split difference the somebody's going back yeah. on he's going back <laughs> on dark ball over you there were saying yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't see you <laughs> but that's that's the difference is you've been taking action and that's that's the huge part like I don't care how many I don't care how great the event is I don't care how much you learn yeah. it doesn't matter where you go. <laughs> Hopefully, what this event does on top of giving you the cardinal knowledge is it's giving you the swift kick in the butt that you need mm -hmm. to get into action. And you got eight months to do it till yeah. the end of the year. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, we need to clear some stuff up. We need to clear some stuff up because uh, I feel like this conversation is being too much about the event and Zavi. Um, so, one of the main things that I wanted to make sure that we were going to talk about was having everyone understand that Jose Alvarado it does not work for me I yeah. want to make that very clear Jose is my business partner. partner he's my equal business partner my other business partner is Mike who you guys will probably never meet because <laughs> he doesn't oh, want to be Mike yeah yeah shout out to, <laughs> to Mike you guys will never meet Mike because you guys don't need to meet Mike however Mike I just want to be very clear creative house productions 
their equal partners is myself, Jose, and Mike. Jose does not work for Zabi. Jose <laughs> is not Zabi's employee. Jose is Jose's my partner. So I want to make it very clear for anyone that likes to do a lot of this. I want to stop it right now and make it very clear that Jose and also Creative House Productions did not merge with Visionary Media. Yeah, Visionary <laughs> Media is Visionary. As a matter of fact, Visionary Media just hired Visionary Media just hired three new employees because they're scaling and growing. Yeah. Okay, so Dude, that's amazing. Appreciate that. That's so no, one, no, 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 seriously. Yeah, that's, so that's, so one that's of, huge. See, these are the things that don't come out. These nah, are the things that need to get said. Exactly. Three new employees to scale, dude. That's that's yeah. Awesome. So one of the things that we knew moving forward was going to be an issue was the uh, the backend systems, right? You mm -hmm. know, one of my biggest lessons last year was actually that I actually fell flat on my face because I didn't have the proper systems, you know. So going into this year, I knew that we had to have that in place if both of these companies were going to grow together. You know, I think uh, it, for a, a successful company to be successful, you have to have good systems in place. And if Definitely. you don't, then you're just going to, you know, keep running. You're going to stay afloat for a little bit and then you're just going to fall off. You know, like I want both of these companies to grow and I want them to scale and I want them to be alive long term. We're not in this just for the transaction, so we had to we had to make those adjustments to make it happen. Well, dude, I've seen some some pictures that you've been posting online with some big connections you've been making. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't I'm, know if I'm you can I don't know if you can talk about them or not. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, definitely. But yeah, um, I mean, let me know. I'm I'm just super thankful, man. I think, like I said, nobody knew who was the person behind the social media content. Nobody knew who was the person behind the videos and all that. It was just basically all word of mouth, right? And Every single one of the partnerships that we've created has been because in some shape or form, our clients referred us over to somebody else. Mm. Just this year is the year that I made sure that, you know, I started being more in the front of the camera. I started doing more campaigns for ourselves. I started doing more stuff for us because now that I have a better system in place, now we have the liberty to be a little bit more on the forefront, you know, be right. a little bit more on the attack side, not just on the back end. Well, it, so, helps, it helps with the employees for scaling, right? Yeah. Now you have that time to do these types of things. Yeah, exactly. Now it's time, you know, you're you're now being able to work on the business instead yeah. of working in the business. Exactly. And don't get me wrong, I, it, it's it's still hard, you know? I mean, I love... <laughs> I, I, I don't think it's ever going to get easy, yeah. bro. I love, the bigger you get, it's going to be the more... No, you're, what I'm saying is, like, do. I love what I do. Like, I love being involved. Yeah. You know, like, it's... Me and a camera have this thing that, you know, it's, ever since, it's yeah. an intimate relationship that, you're, uh, <laughs> that your fiance. I, I, I uh, can say the same knows. thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just excited. I think, uh, you know, going into this partnership with Zavi, I knew it was either going to be a good thing or a bad thing, you know, because everybody so, always has. So say the truth. How, how's it been? Honestly, <laughs> right now, you have to be honest. Hey, this guy's so annoying. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's nah, going to be kidding. like liar, liar. <laughs> I've had better. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I think uh, one of my biggest, uh, I was going to say it. No, you know, bro, I'm going to punch you right now. <laughs> <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> no, I, you know, I've had people come up to me and, and, and just ask me like, do you know, you know this about Zabi, and I'm like, yeah, you know, like even even when we dropped his uh, story, I I was one of the big factors as to why he did it. One hundred percent. Because, like you it said, was on you know, Thanksgiving Day, dude. Yeah. I was sitting at your office. I literally almost cried to you. Yeah. And you're the one that pushed me to do it. Because a lot of people, you know, I'm I'm a man of God, right? So regardless of whatever person has done and, and whatnot, you have to know that everybody messes up, man. Like everybody has their mistakes. Everybody, you know, has their skeletons in the closet. If, if you don't want to put them out there, if you don't, if you're trying to hide them, that's on you. You know, eventually they're going to come out, you know? Yep. So with Zavi, I was like, bro, I was like, you're carrying this big weight that is either going to eat you alive because you're always going to be worried about it. Or just say it to the world, man. Just own it. Like, you've already experienced you're it. You're either like, going to carry it or you're going to stand on Dude, it. Yeah. You know what's been amazing Ooh. since then? Ooh, that was good. Well, you, know what's been been good. you know what's been amazing since then? Is the out.
outpouring of not just like you know love and appreciation from people that like hey you know that like you're helping me go through a battle or a struggle or whatnot um just the outpour of people just appreciating the vulnerability and the authenticity yeah. that have literally dm'd me messaged me like their own personal things that they're going through in their life seeking and asking for advice because they know that coming to me it's a safe free zone like there's because you've safe, been through it it's no it's not just that but it's a safe judgment zone like i'm not yeah. gonna judge you i man i've had some wild messages from people that are like in our industry that are very like well known in our industry that have come to me knowing that it's a safe free zone that they can tell me anything and that they know that either it's a shoulder that they can just speak about and just relieve those skeletons or they can seek and ask for advice so much so that uh, ever since that big speaking engagement I did at Epic Mastermind that I got invited to. So shout out to Nikki Maria if you're watching this. Um, Ali Haraz and uh, Jason Stewart, I really appreciate you guys for giving me that opportunity to speak on stage. That has actually propelled and set me up uh, to so many other people that are in the criminal justice in, uh, like you know framework that have asked me to come and speak to their people and like you know people out in second chance homes or second chance houses to come speak to their people because they're so. It, they, they, they they admire what I've were or I was to where I've come through and they look at me like hey these kids or these people or this youth they need like they need to see somebody who's actually been in it and that kid like that's the person they'll listen to you know as a second chance and hope so I have um I'll be speaking at a uh, shelter house real soon and I'll be speaking actually at a um at a uh, I guess a second chance program uh real soon too here in Chula Vista and uh, more to come yeah, dude, it, yeah. I think it, it makes a big difference. And and here's the thing, though. you, all, you Everything that you're doing came because you had somebody push you to that level. This guy right here. Right? Straight, like, literally this guy right here. I was I was ready to not do it. Like, that day, all the editing, all everything that went in, like, before it, um, everything. It was Thanksgiving Day, and I was looking at Jose, and I was like, Jose, is this a good idea, bro? Like, I'm about to risk my business. I'm about to risk all the hard work. I'm about to risk everything. Like, I don't know if I want to do this. And Jose was just like, look, man, you, you're you going to inspire so many people. You're like, you're going to lose some people, but you're going to inspire so many people. And those that stay and those that stick are the people that truly want to see you succeed. And I got to be honest with you, I did lose some, but God damn, I did gain so much more. Yeah. And it's, and it's, and it's genuine relationships. It's general, like it's, I can't express enough to you. It's a genuine relationship. And I'm so glad I did that because that allowed for all the fake people to get out of my life, which is great. And if they're still sticking around, they want to be entertained. I hope this conversation is entertaining for you players. But um, that's all it is. <laughs> you know, I think this industry, uh, I love I love this industry, right? But at the same time, there's a lot of things that happen behind closed doors that nobody ever talks about. So for other people to take that kind of judgment based on something and not, you know, look at the other stuff that's going on. It's it's crazy to me, you know. I think uh, I told Zavi the other day, or actually just today, I told him, I was like, hey, man, um, have I had a close friend of mine tell me that they're no longer going to do business with me because I'm associated with you. And it's like, it bugs, you know, at the same time. But yeah. at the same time, it's like, okay, like, I'm either going to be, we're either going to be, you know, love for being real or we're going to love for being fake. You know yeah. what I mean? And you know what? I, I, again, your work is going to speak for itself. And and you're right. You might lose some, but you're going to gain a lot of others. Yeah. Right? I mean, it, it really comes down to you are doing the work because it's you. Right? And this is why I think it's important that you have, that people know that there's a separation. Yeah, you work yeah. with Creative House, right? I mean, um, but so, I own part of Creative House Productions. I, I, part, I was talking about design. Oh, design. Design, yeah. right? Right? And, and now you put together the productions part. Right. So, Correct. but you're still, you're, you're, you still have your separate piece. So it's not a hundred percent all dive in. Yeah. You're just, you just realize that there's value in both pieces and Correct. you guys are using the value that you guys have together. Yeah. Right. You and know, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can see why, you know, there was that misunderstanding. Um, but visionary media is a completely separate entity from creative house production. Social media, uh, visionary media is a social media marketing agency. Creative house productions is for listings and and photos. Yes. Yeah. So literally, just to to clear the the dead space here, Creative House Productions is literally just for listing photos and listing videos. 
That's it. Anything that deals with like a lifestyle or if it's a commercial walkthrough of a house and you're like, you know, you're, 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 it's anything of that nature that deals with an actual person speaking and, you know, a vlog type of vi video. That's visionary. That's visionary. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. No, dude, that's going to be, look, again, this is a relationship yeah, industry, business. right? And, you know, you were talking about the event earlier and how much value you're going to bring, right? And you were talking about how there's a lot of stuff going on in this in this industry. Look, I was talking about this earlier. You know, in real estate, a lot of people put on a suit. Mm. And when you put on a suit, you put on an image. Correct. It doesn't 100% of the time mean that that's who you truly are. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a persona that you're putting out. Right. And, and just because, just because you see something or you hear a story on online, you, that's only bits and pieces. You don't actually know the individual unless you get to know the individual. Correct. Right. right. And that, that's kind of a big, you know, when, when you, when you shy somebody off just because of a snippet that you see, I, I think that's kind of tough. You know, yeah. uh, I think Sam was actually just saying this earlier today, Caribbean on his live. Um, he was talking about a lot of, you know, agents that are agents or come to the scene of becoming an agent. You know, prior to that, they're either, you know, uh, teachers or, uh, you know, whatever. They're, any they're other from, career. They're from, ed, you know, from any other industry, right? They were never really, a, they were never really in sales, right? They were never in sales. Like yes. real estate is sales. 100%. Real estate is sales, right? So a lot of people come into this industry not understanding that this is sales, right? You're walking into the lion's den. It's really what it is. Yeah, it's competitive. You're walking into the lion's den. And trust me when I tell you, it's, 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 not, it's not to your favor. This is an industry where if you, have, if you have time to speak on someone else's name, that's the reason why your numbers suck. And numbers don't lie. And you can you can take it how you want to take it. And I'm not speaking to anybody directly. I just want to be very clear. This is not a direct attack to anybody. This is just in general, general terms. If you have time to talk about somebody else within your, just in general, then that is the reason why you suck at life. That's the reason why you suck at what you do. Because you're not focusing on growing your brand. You're not focusing on growing. You're not focusing on your clients. You're not focusing on getting the best deal for your, you're not focusing on trying to bring the most value. Why? I ask Jose, I don't talk about nobody. I don't have time to think about nobody. I don't ask about what anybody's doing. Everybody that's in my, like in my field of work, what I do, let's call it what it is, staging and photos. They're I'm going to just keep it real. They're, they're not my friends on social media because I don't accept their friend requests. And there's a few that I've blocked. And the reason why is because I don't want to allow myself to see what they're doing. I don't have time to see what you they're doing. You don't have time for distractions. Exactly. It's like if we're not friends on social media and you're in my field of work, it's not that I have anything against you. I'm not friends with you because I don't have time to see what you're doing. I don't care to see what you're doing. I don't want to be distracted by what you're doing. I'm too focused on me. I'm too focused on leveling up because when I level up, my clients level up. Mm. And that's the way I live my life. Absolutely. And I'm going to just leave it. That's the nice way of me saying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> how we, how, uh, yeah, are we at like a 45 minutes? How many people yeah. do we have watching? Uh, we're like at an hour. <clears throat> yeah, we. <laughs> One. <laughs> Mom, 45 minutes in. That's <laughs> Mom's yeah. on it. No, no, it's forty five minutes, man. So I people, mean people like, don't watch it, the first five minutes we had like ten people, you know, it was ten, twelve people, but now it's just mom. <laughs> <laughs> My mom watches everything. That's mom sticks best. around. So, That's the best viewer. Now look, um, for sure. <laughs> by the way, so let's keep this separate. Give you a, I'm gonna give Jose the floor first. Okay. How do people get in contact with you if you want if they wanna Hang get any type of media stuff rocking, rolling? I mean, tell them what it is that uh like, you know, who's your ideal client and okay. how do they get in contact with you? Yeah, so um, we work with a lot of real estate agents and lenders. What we focus on is the actual marketing portion of social media. So obviously we create your branding, which is the visuals, the front, but the back end portion, which is like we leverage videos, we leverage campaigns to get you interested in your, in your listings and your, uh, your services. Um, and you can you guys can contact us at 619-549-3135 or at visionarymediacorp.com. Cool. What about your your individual and your IG? Cuz 
at your social media guy. Because I think that says a lot. I mean, right there, right? <laughs> that is, that's really what, what yeah. you're about. Your it's, it was media. supposed to be my social media guy, but I kind of shot myself on the foot and I created another account and now I don't remember the password. <laughs> 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 or the email that it's attached to or what? Yeah, I don't remember it. <laughs> so it's just I all bad. That Instagram account too. It's my name, like my picture, everything. I don't know how to get into it. <laughs> and I literally see people friend requesting that all the time and it's an open source. So like yeah, if yeah. they friend request it, your, your your followers go up. I'm like, follow me on my real account. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's it's hard. It's cause you try to you, you have an idea and then the idea grows into something else. And so you have to kind of rebrand yourself yeah. and Dude, that stuff happens. All right, Zabi, how do we get a hold of you? Um, I'm on the penny saver. <laughs> <laughs> MySpace. 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 <laughs> I'm your top eight. Um, let's see. Uh, Forget eight. about top eight. <laughs> <laughs> you can, uh, my, uh, my AOL, uh, my AIM messenger screen name is <laughs> Chick Magnet. No, I'm kidding. It actually was back in the day. I was so stupid. God. <laughs> Save me, I apologize. Um, and my uh, my 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 phone number is six one nine seven five zero two one three nine. Um, that's uh, the best way to get a hold of me. Honestly, is through calling or texting, and I I'm very uh, I'm, I, I communicate quite a bit through text. So one of the best ways to contact me, and then also uh, my Instagram uh, handle. I think it's on the bottom of the screen right here. Am I mm -hmm. correct? Yep. Cool. Bottom of the screen right here. It's at I M Zabi. That's I A M Z A B I E. I know it sounds very narcissistic narcissistic but um it's supposed to be that way but um so, it's your social media page yeah, it's so. as narcissistic as you yeah. get um i just want someone to love me the way zabi loves me <laughs> <laughs> so, so. nobody loves zabi the way zabi loves me. So, um <laughs> that's far-fetched right <laughs> where do you find one of those you're gonna clone yourself what are those, what are those? <laughs> that's funny all right guys well hey man thanks for coming out again zabi jose thanks for being on the mic yeah, appreciate that. We did we did a whole I mean we had both of you guys on individually. Yeah. It's kinda cool to have you guys on together. Yeah, definitely. I mean a lot of a lot has changed within just a short period of time. So yeah. Well, not just with us, but with you guys too. You guys have been killing it. Dude, you guys actually let's take a oops, let's take a step back real quick and let's uh let's talk about Hernan and James C S man. Um Woo. <laughs> I wanna give these guys credit where I'm gonna start turning red. I wanna yeah, give right. these guys credit where credit's due. Um they literally took my they adopted what i did to get to what i got to and i told them like at the same time i re reiterated that message and reaffirmed that message to them saying do do it that way get it that way um they had me on the show they ended up getting my circle my circle of friends on the show which turned out to get in their circle of friends which today he just had jesse from san diego jesse real wright. pros magazine this is jesse wright you know, jesse Don't wright, wright. Jesse you know wright. who's the right person to have on this show um and and then us you know and the fact is number one it's an honor to have followed up um you know from her episode and for us to go on i i think i can speak for the both me and jose it's an honor uh but at the same time it's it's also an honor to see two gentlemen directly in front of me that just four months ago literally walked into a room where nobody knew them and now i can safely say that if they walked into that same exact room everyone would know them 100%. and that's called hard fucking work that's called that's called not hearing the noise because I, I, <laughs> I guarantee you i guarantee you i guarantee you i guarantee you the same people that were sitting there saying who do these guys think they are these guys are jokes these guys are real estate coaches these guys, like, they think if they have a podcast, these guys this, these guys that, these guys this, are the same fucking people that are now asking to be on your show. Ooh. Call Ooh. it for what you want to call it. Uh, I'm as real as it gets. Thanks, Zabi. I think, I think uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy when I hear people go, business bros. I think it's <laughs> so funny. Did I, t did I tell you how that started? Can, can, I, can I? Yeah, go for it. Biz. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Puberty, uh, puberty, 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 puberty. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he really sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. One, two, three. Business bros. <laughs> so I'll tell you real quick how that started. On that promo video that we're going to do, we're going to do a bunch of those. A bunch of those? Sweet, dude. Yeah, that's that, it, dude. Okay, so here's how it started for those of you out there who are wondering where the hell this came from. I dragged James to do this podcast. I told him we were doing it every day. 
And I drag him to do I a lot that, of things, man. right? I love that. I drag him to do a lot of things. Even to this day, the wife's like, are you doing one every day? Yes, I'm doing one every like, day. Do you, do you physically just drag your older brother? <laughs> he's my like, younger brother. I physically brother? drag him <laughs> like, every day. Like he's on the floor. Like he doesn't just drag you by his Dude. leg. <laughs> here, right. here. For the camera, can you demonstrate? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good catch. Guys, good catch. Hold on. It's holy holy crack. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay. My, what, my caller. What's in that bang? What's in that bang? <laughs> <laughs> it's pure energy drink. It's in here. <laughs> no, dude, it's but, going back on, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. 2013, he gets out of the navy. I'm like, hey, dude, you're going to this real to this uh, insurance class. He's like, okay, you know, I drag him. Now he's like running the show, right? Same thing with the Dope. podcast. I'm like, hey, dude, we're doing a podcast every day. Okay, so to get him, you know, to actually get behind the mic and do this podcast with me, he's got to go grab Bud Light, and then we record one. He's gotta grab you. another Bud Light, <laughs> and then by the third, I think it was like the third Bud Light in, <laughs> we, we're recording another episode. He's like. You know, welcome to another episode of Business Bros. He's like, Business Bros! Like, a little buzz. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at him like, where the hell did Business that go, Bros! <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. And that sounds good. good. That's it. I just saw it. Yeah. yeah. So, that's Dilly it. Dilly, that's where it came from. Dilly <laughs> Dilly. Oh, be careful. They'll sue you for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, well, my bad, my bad. Just cut that part out. Cut that part out. Cut. Cut. No, so that's where he came from, dude. Dilly Dilly, I had to just do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Dilly Dilly. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, dude, but really, thanks for the kind words. Because honestly, when we sat down at the beginning of the year, and we're like, what's the goal for the year? It was really simple. We're going to go to the Christmas parties next year. <laughs> and find Zavi. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody loves Zombie as much as And everybody's going to know who we are. That's the goal. That's simple. Yeah. That's it. So no, I think it's actually gonna... pretty cool, too. You know, you guys are brothers. You know, you guys actually, are killing yeah. it I together. actually can't wait until you guys go to this year's Christmas party. I know it's far away from now, but last year compared to this year, oh, it's going to be huge. Oh, we're we're going we're gonna to walk to like every table and every table is going to be like, business bro. You guys, are <laughs> you guys should document it, man. Yeah. You guys should Dude, document that's it for cool. sure. That's going to be cool. That's going to be real cool. All right, guys. <laughs> you should dress up as like a Santa and an elf. Why is he short? Hey. <laughs> I'll get the pointy hat. It's good. <laughs> I'm down for whatever. Yeah, yeah. Give, me, give me some pointy shoes with a little. Ring. That's cool, man. Give me some bells. I'm oh down. Oh my god, that's so funny. I, I have no problem making an ass of myself. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm all about it. See, man, that's the thing. That's the dangerous part about having these mics is when you get around funny ass people. Like you just don't even end. I don't even know. We should start a new podcast. Dude. <laughs> Joking what? around, just yeah, messing just, around. Let's end this one to start to one for time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> one. Hey guys, we're going live. We're going live <laughs> again. <laughs> you thought the first one wasn't enough? We're going Did around too. <laughs> even though you hopped off in the first five minutes, we figured we're gonna go around too. <laughs> there we go. All oh, right. Dude. All right, let's let's actually call it. Actually man. call it. Yeah, I got a wife who's gonna get mad at me if I don't call it here soon. <laughs> yeah, I got a dog waiting for me at home. All right. Wait, there's actually something I really need to share. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you next <laughs> time <laughs> on another episode of <laughs> Business Bros. <laughs> All right, guys, that's all Thanks we got everybody. for you guys today. Peace. Bye bye. I'm out. Dude, that was awesome. That was a good Too episode. much fun, dude. Oh. All right. Thank you, Facebook, for uh, all the participation. You know. Love you. Thank you, Mom.